As ESCOM, we hope that henceforth none shall dare stand on a podium and proclaim that ESCOM never shouted loud enough about the real and challenging picture of security of electricity supply in South Africa. The tariff application got South Africans to have the right conversations about electricity. Chairperson, the conversation we have had throughout these hearings will prove to be time well spent if they are followed by correct choices and action on the part of all South Africans. We hope we got South Africans to think on an ongoing basis about appropriate energy mixture for their homes, for their factories, for their mines and manufacturing plants. We have a shared appreciation that the root cause of many problems within the electricity sector is that the price of generating electricity is incorrect. This is the fundamental correction that has to be made as we proceed on a journey of further transforming the sector. If we break down the tariff into its substantial parts, we see a lot of commonality, the, the tariff discussions. We see a lot of commonality among the presentations. Firstly, there has been a call for greater engagement and broader dialogue. Salga, Kosatu and organized business punctuated this call. This is a call we welcome in line with our own call for a national compact on electricity supply. We welcome this with open arms and we will do our fair share in ensuring that this call is responded to. There has been mixed reactions to the 30% or, or more equity stake in Kusile, where even Salga, organized business and analysts stretched this idea to include private sector participation in other existing power stations. Naturally, COSATU advanced equally compelling opposing arguments in this regard. We advise all key stakeholders to make formal representations to the ESCOM holding board and the shareholder in this regard. Dialogue to be meaningful requires the absence of dogma from all players across the board. There's definite acknowledgement, Chairperson, that our primary energy and operation costs must be recovered. We acknowledge that there are ongoing opportunities to seek and achieve efficiencies and savings. What also came as commonality from all these presentations that we've heard in the last 10 days, including these last two days, there's commonality around the fact that there's a real need to have funds available to either replace our current asset base at the end of its life or replace such with other renewable energies. There has been acknowledgement that the cost of these technologies is indeed more expensive currently. In terms of yielding returns on assets employed, there's an appreciation that firstly, current funding obligations, loans and interest need to be repaid. Secondly, private equity holders would require meaningful returns and upside on economic profit or EBITDA. We can debate all these matters at length, but there's no doubt that in the short term of the current MYPD2 period, ESCOM's solution is the only viable.